Good morning, my lovelies. Now, yesterday, my BFF and that best flipping friend and I went and bought a car and I'm going to show it to you. And here she is, my new project. Meet Betty Blue. The YouTube channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Boaty. To make YouTube videos with... Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. Right, no messing about. Let's just take this absolutely filthy old heap out for a quick spin and see what we're dealing with. It's been fitted with some... Are you actually running? Oh, yes, you are. Right, first thing to note, it's been fitted with some silly race pedals, which might not be silly at all. That might just be my automatic bias. Gosh, the steering is light. I mustard park this up so And for reference, it's the green bin day. That's exciting, isn't it? Brakes on this are absolutely ridiculous. And by ridiculous, I mean that they work unbelievably well, which in an MGF is kind of a revelation because the normal brakes kind of don't work. You have to absolutely stand on them and then they still don't work terribly well. Whereas these, you only need to wave your foot somewhere near the brake pedal and the car stops.
I like that noise. I like that noise a lot. And here we are at Shillito Woods to have a proper beginning of a look around at this car, which is going to be a project. This is a 2003 MG TF limited edition cool blue SE. And it's dirty. Somebody fell out of love with this car, but I'm going to make up for that by falling in love with it. So what does the cool blue mean? Well, a, it came in three exterior colours, but what it shared was unique blue Alcantara interior with door trims. And a blue hood. Now this car has got history dating back to day one. It's got every previous MOT certificate and it's got recent bills for quite a lot of money, including a full KMAP ECU remap. However, after buying the car and spending quite a few bob on it, the chap had an overheating issue, not a terminal one by any means but an overheating issue. Now, no damage was done to the car, but he immediately lost faith in it. He assumed the worst. He assumed the old head gasket failure. And that's how come we ended up with the car. We don't think the head gasket has failed though. We think that there's an electrical issue which is preventing the fan from kicking in at the point where it should. And so that is the plan with this car clean it up, show it some love, sort the fan problem and kind of enjoy it while we're doing all of that. Let's have a quick look at where some money has been spent. We've got uprated alloys with excellent tyres. Big old brake conversion. Look at that. Look at the size of that disc. It's enormous. Look at the caliper. Sports exhaust, trick induction parts, LED lighting in the footwells and under the mirror, upgraded speakers all around and a posh new head unit. Now when we've sorted it, the car will be for sale, probably. Okay, so that was just a very quick look around. The car that I think may be called Betty Blue and is the new project. So, but there we are. Let's go home and get some lunch.
right, my lovelies. It's now pretty late and pretty much dark. Um, and I just wanted to check out the lights on uh, Betty Blue. Uh, I know it's been upgraded to LED on the interior, so I wanted to have a look at that in the dark. And I wanted to check the external lights as well and see if maybe they've been upgraded. Let's go and have a look. <clears throat> oh, quite impressive. And these two. Now, why have I got this pile in front of me and what have I been up to today? Well, darlings, I have been playing with and making a little bit of content with new car. I reckon I might have hit the jackpot with this car. I really do. The, and the more I look into it, the more I see. I started having a quick look at the old paperwork because you know what I'm like with paperwork. I absolutely, um, I absolutely love it. So we've got original service records. Um, first service at 4,000, 15,000, 21,000, 27,000, by which time it had moved to Bradford. 34,000, Bradford again. 35,000, I think. Uh, Barnsley Rover Specialist. Um, then 51,560 in Rotherham. Head gasket and timing belt replaced. Uh, oil changed and antifreeze. And I think that is as far as the service book goes. So, I strongly suspect that what we've got there, darlings, is every single MOT from new. So he bought it in August. Um, he bought it in August. And this is in October. The 18th of October. Uh, and this is a, a known place in Derby. Head gasket replacement, another one, including water pump and tensioner, um, radiator fan, and front bumper splitter fitted. So, in October of last year, it had um, head gasket done, new water pump, new tensioner, uh, and that was a total of four hundred and sixty eight pound and eighty five p just in october um has received a kmaps ecu upgrade to enhance power fuel economy and response and there's an uh, there's a there's a bill to go with that somewhere that i saw and that was like, that was about another 500 pound. Then we've got another 400 pounds on tires. He's bought this car for, for the best part of, well, one and three quarter grand. And he's then just thrown money at it. He's had head gasket done, new tires all round, um, uh, whatever, water pump, tensioner, uh, a 500 quid ECU remap. Um, and then from looking at the car, I uh, haven't looked for the bills and whatever yet. <clears throat> I can only apologise. Um, he's had LED lights fitted inside and outside. And even the pin lights in the mirror have been replaced with LEDs. Uh, he's had new speakers fitted all around. Uh, he's had a new DAB... Bluetooth, all singing, all dancing, head unit fitted. He's thrown a fortune at this car. 
an absolute fortune. Um, and so, yeah. Um, and it drives... In. Oh, uh, the brakes have been done as well. It's got the big brake conversion. I've got that on the video. Massive great discs on the front. Huge calipers. And the brakes are unbelievable. I mean, absolute... By, I mean, they're unbelievable by any standards. But by MGF standards, they're a bloody revelation. And the car drives fantastically. Absolutely fantastically. Now... It needs um, an incredibly good clean-up and tidy out and all of that. But I reckon totally hit the jackpot with this car. Um, you know, it's had... It must have had 4,000 quid thrown at it in the last nine months. Um, and it drives like it has as well. Uh, I found, um, what else did I find? Um, sorted out the spare key. There's a fob to go with the key, uh, need, which needs a uh, battery and maybe programming, but obviously that's not a problem. Um, it's just everything. It's all there. It's absolutely fabulous. And it drives like a bloody dream. Uh, what else has been done inside? It's had new um, new, uh, new gear lever gator, new handbrake gator. You know, all the little things that all add up. It's just had so much. So uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to grips more and more with this car. Um, I'm going to get, starting tomorrow, I'm going to give it uh, an incredible clean up. See how good I can make it look. Um, Still doing some work on Fanny as well, of course. And possibly going to the toll bar fish and chip shop. Who knows? Um, yeah, but Melanie Minge back here. Um, Betty Blue here. What a car. What a bloody car. Um, and so, yeah, hit the jackpot, falling on our feet. So, um, yeah, we'll, it's, we'll see where we go with it. Okay, good night my lovelies, thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to catching you on the next one. Boats would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cyrle, Project MGTF, Rosé Chicks, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, GPS OMG, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Black Lines, Classic Wheels Wells, Sha Brown, Jimmy Quinn, Joe Cox, Project Nigel, Joe Harwood, Underscore, Every Sincar, Mr. George Roger Botti, Saint QLG, Bad Books, Benny The Worst, Nigel Fleck, Air Dumpy Dum, Rob Brooks, Wet Legs Rerend, Hookton Classics, Holly Halls, John Moruzzi, Who Judge, General Cheeseburger, Pingu Concorde, Psychonaut 7, Kevin U, Mickey Jeffries and Neil Gibbon. Your support means the world to him, your all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your knob alone when the adver come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.